What's up team? In this vlog, we're going to be talking about what kind of web developer sh should you be? What kind of web developer do you do you want to be? And we're going to go a little deeper into 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 life and into in some things. Let's get to it, team. All right, team. So it's your biggest fan, the real Casadero. Welcome back again for another session. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, mash the bell, uh, so you get notifications when new videos come out. And some of you out there, you're probably like, "Why is he saying this at the beginning of the video?" Because you might as well do it now, so you don't forget at the end in case I forget to remind you. Because I'm gonna drop some knowledge on you, and you're gonna want to be coming back to get more and more of this as time goes on. So check it out. Here's the deal, right? There's three different kinds of development. And this goes for just about every job, every profession, every freaking where. There's there's three different types of people. There are the people that are employed. There are the people that pro that provide services, and there are the people that own a business and they consume services and they employ other people. And I didn't think about this when I was younger. Be Probably because I didn't know, maybe because I was immature or, or whatever. And and yesterday when I was do, when I was recording one of the vlogs, I was thinking, I don't know, it just popped into my head. I thought of this image that I that I saw once, and it was this office. It's a huge office, and it was like rows and rows of desks, and there was people at these at the desk. And the caption on the the picture said, "Each of these people." is a cell in a spreadsheet and that got me to thinking and I thought about it back then but yesterday I was really thinking about it and I was like man they are right all of those people at that at those desks and this is back before computers all these people were on typewriters and they had a they had a typewriter on their desk and a calculator and some notebooks and some and a bunch of file folders and literally what they would do is they would receive some sort of operation that they needed to do and maybe they had a specific operation get these numbers and add them all together and then put them on a different report and give it to the next person which is what a spreadsheet does does today but back then people were hired to do this and they would type out they would type out these reports they would crunch the numbers and their cell would produce these results and and somebody at the top of the business the business owner they would have the big picture view of everything and what they when they when they looked at a business report they were literally looking at all of the information that all of these other people had crunched together about everything else that was going on inside of the business so we just talked about two parts we talked about the employee which is the cell in this spreadsheet and the owner which is the person that owns the, the computer and the spreadsheet and the printer and everything and these people, they're going to be using some outside services, maybe, right? So it, at the very least, they got somebody who comes and picks up the trash. They got somebody who comes and cleans the windows. They got somebody who comes and, and mops the floors and cleans the bathrooms and does all that stuff. They got accounts. They got lawyers. They got uh, business coaches. And they got maybe, well, this was the 50s, but we, a business would have maybe web, a web development company. They use a marketing company. They use all these external companies. And all these people out there, they're pro they're providing a service to the company. So these are real people and real businesses who are prov providing a service. And this takes us into the 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 second the second kind of person, which is the which would be the the freelancer, contractor, subcontractor. And the only difference between the freelancer and the business owner is the freelancer or the subcontractor, whatever they do everything themselves, which means they. They, they're, they uh, oftentimes they're probably doing, they're, they're being compensated more for doing more work. And, and as they get better at it, then they maybe can compress this work. So they're doing less work and they're making more money. But then you have the business owner who can offload all of the actual work to someone else they take a profit it may be less than what they would make if they did all the work themselves but they don't have to do all these physical things so they don't have to be present in any one place at any particular time to do anything they just have to be able to think strategically about how to grow the business and how to increase the business's income and their income you know and and so they look for maybe bottlenecks in the business where they may have to hire more people or they may have to come up with a different inventory system and, and stuff like that. And the reason why I'm talking about this kind of stuff is, is because I believe that in, in, it's something that I that I failed to do that I'm thinking about now and I began to work on is 
which is going to produce the outcome that we want for our lives. And it, it, all of these things are, are completely reasonable for every person. Being an employee is extremely safe. It being a being a, a solo entrepreneur is less safe than being in an, an employee. But be, with that risk comes a bigger reward and you have and you don't have all of the responsibility of the business owner, the business owner. When they hire someone, now they become responsible for their income and the income of the person that they hired. And I would say it's probably their duty, responsibility and obligation to help that person grow as an individual and as a professional in whatever field it is that they that that they are employed by this company to do right so if they're employed as a web developer it is beneficial both to the business and to the person who's working as an employee in the business to to receive time to do additional training and, and time to learn more about how other parts of the business work and and really be made a part of the team and in and, and a part of, of of helping the business grow now a lot of businesses don't operate like this of course and it's completely understandable because Sometimes you just can't you, you have to run the business like a business and that's that's just the way it is some people disagree but The best way to disagree is not to buy their products and services and, and, and If enough people do this they'll cease to be a business and they'll cease to treat employees badly and all these other things But but moving on moving on from that I talk about this because the the risk is much higher when you get all the way up to the business side but the reward can be much much higher and coming through school and coming up through life you hear people talk about retirement and 401ks and all these different things and not too long ago within the, the within the last 20 years people were able to go out and get a job at a company and work there for 20 years and then receive some sort of of, of pension or retirement plan or something like that but that started to go away uh, you know, 15, 15, 15 years ago and people are left on their own to manage their own 401k. So they put their money with money managers who put their money with the, with hedge funds and now their money is controlled by the ups and downs of the stock market. So you can work for a dollar today, put it over, put the dollar into, into some sort of retirement account with the goal of it being $5 by the time you retire, but it's subject to market fluctuations and it may only be worth a dollar. But inflation has gone up, so everything costs more, but you got the same amount of money. And that, that's really risky. Then you, and so a, a way to, to avoid that kind of risk, so you're giving up a little, a little security in order to earn more than you normally would, so you could put more away and maybe diversify in your investments, because the more money you have, the more diversity you can have. And I, I, I'm not sure diversity is the way that people should go, but that's maybe that's a whole different vlog altogether. But then conversely, you have the business side where you can you can grow the business as big as you want. All you have to do is be able to be able to scale services and labor and all of that stuff. And you can control the profits and you can control what those profits do. So maybe they can be used to buy other income producing assets or buy other businesses that produce greater income. And if you if you run a business the good way, it's the most risky. It's probably the, 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 the most stressful thing to do. But if you do it right, you can accumulate enough money where you don't have to worry about a retirement plan and you don't have to worry about what happens if if you're a solo con if you're a solo contractor or something what happens if i got sick or what or, or or i don't want to work anymore or whatever and so now that i'm thinking about that stuff i, I just i just wanted to make a make a make a vlog and talk about it to get other people thinking about it. what in as far as web development goes what kind of developer do you want to be do you want to be a developer that that's an employee and then how is that going to benefit you in the life you want to be living 10, 15, 20 years down the road, uh, or maybe maybe really building your skills to become a freelancer, which doesn't involve just code, but it involves marketing and selling how this may benefit you. And maybe you want to start a business, something that you can build up 
or, or multiple businesses that you build on your own. So you have maybe you have an app here and you have a membership site there and you got a, a retail business here and you got maybe some real estate over here. And these things are all producing income, but you don't necessarily have to be there in the business, operating the business every day. You can stop working anytime you want and the money is going to continue coming. And if you set everything up right, it'll continue coming for generations down the road. And so I just thought I'd talk about it so people start thinking about that kind of stuff because I'm definitely on the business side. I, I, I don't want to just generate income for myself and my immediate family. I want to generate income for my grandchildren's grandchildren's grandchildren. And there are some people out there who want to be, who, who, who maybe haven't even thought about that, but now they see this and like, yeah, that's the kind of person I want to be. And now you can begin thinking about that. And there'll be more videos about this kind of stuff going on into the future team. That's why I say you should subscribe and click the notification bell so you're notified when there's new videos. You can come back here and we can hang out a little more and we can talk a little more and maybe we can learn something from one another. So if you like this video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave a thumbs down. Leave some comments below so I know what it is you like to see, what it is you like to talk about. And uh, that uh, if you're if you're interested in learning to code, you're a beginner, you're just getting started. Check out the Code 365 Startup Lab, where there's some very basic courses where it's just me talking like this and I'm, I'm going line by line with you through code. And if you really want to go on an adventure, join the Code 365 Startup Lab. This is an actual paid membership where I'm going to be building, I'm going to be planning an app, building a series of applications, tying those all together, putting them online, marketing them, and then bringing paying customers to them, monetizing it somehow so it generates some sort of income. That is it for this vlog. I will see you in the next vlog, team.